Oh, join my guitar. Huh? <laughs> Hello, you folks. You're already, man. <laughs> well, I always start off with uh, one particular song. Uh, you can probably get hold of the chorus as we go along. After about 80 verses, you'll find it. Good evening, all me jolly lads, I'm glad to see you well And if you gather all around me, boys, the story I will tell For I have a situation, they got a rem, they got by Can whisper out the weekly wage of 19 bob To Elman come October since I left me native home After helping in Killarney for to bring the harvest down I have it now I wear a gansey around me waist a belt And I'm the cover of the squad that makes the hardest felt we lean it in the hollers and we lean it in the flat And if it doesn't last forever, me boys, that's where I'll leave me at I travel the wide world over, boys, know where have I felt Any surface that's the equal to the hardest For all those sort of looking bland, that was the chorus And this is our guest tonight, so you know about it. You can't get the words sort of make Irish noises go And everybody will say, look at that bloody fool over there <laughs> Well, now the other night, a copper he comes and he says to me, Maguire, would you kindly let me light your pipe down by a boiler fire? He sat himself right down in front with up nails up to late, and he says, I'm an decent man, you better go and mind your bait. Turn to me, said, I'm up to you, and I'm up to all your pranks. Now you're for a traitor from the temporary ranks. Well, Christ, I hit him from the shoulder. I gave him such a wealth that I knocked him into the boiler full of the hardest smell. We laid it in the hollers and we laid it in the flat. Da la da 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 well, we quickly pulled him out together, we shoved him in a tub. With soap and warm water, we began to rub and scrub. But the devil, the thing it tied him, turned us out of stone. With every other rub, well, you could hear the cover groan. I'm thinking, says O'Reilly, he's looking like old Nick. Bargain me if I ain't inclined to clean him with me pick. Says I, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll stir him till he melts. And we'll stir him nice and easy in the hardest belt. We laid it in the hollers and we laid it in the flat. And if it doesn't last, not ever me boys, that's where I'll leave me at. I've a trouble of my world over, boys, know where have I felt any surface that's the equal to the hardest belt. Well, with the rubbing and the scrubbing, sure he got his death a cold. For scientific purposes, his body had been sold. And in the Kelvin Grove Museum, he's hanging by the pelt as a monument to the dire effects of our death felt. Talk about your soldiers and your sailors and your rest. Gobblers and shoemakers, but we please the ladies best. For oh, there's devil a what among them. Now flimsy has come out, like the boys around the boiler, make it hard as well. We're laying it in the hollers and we're laying it in the flat. And if it doesn't last forever, me boys, that's where I'll eat me out. I've traveled the wide world over, but now where have I found any service that's the equal to the hard as A lot of the songs I, I sing, I learnt, first learnt when I was at school, and this is, a, this is the only song that comes from... I, I live in Coventry, in the murky Midlands in Warwickshire, and this is the... What's the matter, you've got indigestion? This is, um, this is the only song that I know from Warwickshire. Cess didn't get up that far in his stagecoach, so collect any, but he's a pretty good guy. I learned this off a, a schoolmistress we had, for want of a better word. And uh, she used to sort of sit and tinkle, excuse me, I'll do me so a bit, that's it. And she used to sit and tinkle at the piano, you know, and, and we'd go mad on our orchestra of triangle and tambourine. <laughs> it was called an orchestra. And the point was about all these songs, she didn't know anything about symbolism. <laughs> She'd have probably died of heart attack if she had it. <laughs> this, is, this is a song with a, a nice sort of chorus in it that you can go to. The, uh, <laughs> well, the keeper did a hunting go, and under his cloak he carried a bow. Oh, for to shoot the merry little doe among the leaves so green, oh, Jackie boy. Great. <laughs> I'm glad my mother came. This is now, he goes, Jackie boy, master, sing thee well, very well, hey down, ho down, derry, derry down, and all that lot. You'll get the idea, don't you? We're there, Jackie boy. Master. <laughs> 
It <laughs> last a long time, this. <laughs> I tell you what, a lot of people don't like singing this song because they, they sort of imagine this geezer with a bow and arrow leaping through the green woods, robbing her hat on his head, pudgy feathers sticking out the side. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting stags. Nothing to do with that. All the stags in this of the birds is knocked off. It's bloody filthy, really. really. <laughs> right. We're the Jackie boy. Sing me well. Hey down. He missed the second, though he trimmed and kissed. The dough went when nobody wished among the leaves so green. Oh, Jackie boy, sing me well. Hey, down, dairy, dairy, down among the leaves so green. Oh, to my hey, down, down. Hey, down, dairy, dairy, down among the leaves so green. And the full dough went across the plain. Keep the water back again. Where she is now, she must remain among the leaves so green. Oh, Jackie boy, sing me well. Hey, down, dairy, dairy. Down among the leaves so green, on to my hay down, down. Hey down, there, there, down among the leaves so green. Gonna go the last spasm. Well, the last though went across the brook. Keep a boater back with his up. Where she is now, you'll have to look. Hey, hey. Among the leaves so green, oh, Jackie boy, sing me well. Hey down, there, there, down among the leaves so green, on to my hay down, down. Hey down, there, there, down. Jackie boy, sing me well. Hey down, there, there, down among the leaves so green. Oh, to my hey down, down. Hey down, there, there, down among the leaves so green. Oh. Right. I suppose, uh, you know, you always associate the word. Uh, Carol with Christmas, because she's a lovely bird, and I only see her at Christmas. And um, th but this is a, this is a. Um, <laughs> you heard about the two rabbits running along, being chased by a pack of wolves, and one turned to the other and said, "Let's stop and outnumber them." That's quite an interesting thought. There we are. This is a. This is a no, no, we're gonna, I'm going to be dead serious now. This is one of my serious moment. This is a hotline to Moscow. Did you know that? There it is. Uh, this is a, a song, uh, an Easter carol that was collected in East Anglia, near Ipswich, for the want of a better thing. And uh, uh, <laughs> it was actually. Uh, it's, uh, it used to be an Easter carol, so we've got into the folk tradition now. It's called The Leaves of Life. All under the leaves and the leaves of life. Did I meet with virgin seven, and one of them was Mary Mild? Our Lord bless Mother in heaven. Well, it's so where are you going, you seven pretty maids, all under the leaves of life? Well, we are not seeking leaves to us, but for a friend of mine. Well, go down, go down into yonder town, and sit in the gallery, and it's there you'll spy blessed Jesus Christ. All an aisle to a big yew tree. So it's down they went into yonder town, as fast as the foot could fall. And it's many a bitter and grievous day. From the virgin's eyes did fall. Oh, peace, mother, oh. Mother, your weeping it does me grieve, but I will suffer this, he said, for Adam and for Eve. Well, it's how can I my weeping cease, or my sorrow to undergo, when I do see my 
Amen, good Lord, your charity. And that's the ending of my song. Well, while we're, while we're on the, it's, it's uh, religious today, of course, one must uh, always bear to God on Sunday, so... We'll get down on your knees and say you and McCall four times, we'll be in. This is a, another religious ballad. Uh, this comes from the most religious place I know, Soho. And it's, um, <laughs> no, it's, it comes from down London way. It's a very deep song. There's a, it's another long ballad. It's a bit of a drag, but don't let it worry you. It'll, it'll come out at the end. Well, there once was a ballon vicar. What says to his curate, John? I bet I've had more birds than you. And the curate says, you're on, you're on. The curate says, you're on. <laughs> This is serious. <laughs> we'll stand outside the church door, watch the birds go by. You dingling for the birds you've had, and I'll oh, ding dong for mine, for mine, oh, ding dong for mine. <laughs> it was dingling, ling, dingling, ding dong, there were more dinglings than the word ding dongs. Out to a lady passing by, the curate went ding dong. Well, the parson looked and then he stared, said, That's my wife, I do declare. That's your wife, oh, I couldn't care. I have a ding down there. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, this is a moment. I can see what we're going to enjoy tonight. This is a this is the well-known German five-string frying pan. A well-known fact. No, I tell you, this is this is a fact because if you've ever been to Germany, you know you buy these sausages over there, and they've got sort of a skin around them. Well, that's not meat. That is actually the skin of these. When it melts, it goes around the sausages. They have to re-skin them every time. That's a fact. You might not believe. It. Actually, if you ever been to Germany, I don't, who's been to Germany? I know, I know Steve has. If you ever flown to Germany, this this is an experience to be lived. If you go Lufthansa Airways, marvelous. You get, you know, if you get on BEA, you get this lovely little critic. I tell you, the best view of an aeroplane isn't the window; it's the aisle. Watch them wobbling up there. It's great. <laughs> and uh, but on Lufthansa Airways, they don't say "Welcome to Lufthansa Airways" like that. You know, they go "Welcome to Lufthansa Airways." You will enjoy your flights. <laughs> and as, you, as you're coming across into London Airport, across the Channel, this sort of like, "This is Lufthansa Airways." If you look through your bomb sights, you will see London. <laughs> anyway, this is a. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll do a German song. I wasn't going to do this. I've only just remembered it. Right, let's sing. This is a, a fairly... No, we won't. I'll tell you, yes, we will. This is German. And, uh, of course, they have folk songs in all sorts of countries. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Probably get drunk. But never mind, this is a good thing, is any. This is a, a song written in 1933 in the Burgesmoor concentration camp in Germany. And um, in the concentration camp, there were um, a lot of Jewish political prisoners. One of them wrote this. He was... One of Germany's leading musicologists at the time. Their job was to go out into the peat bogs around the camp and dig peat. Nice fella. <laughs> <laughs> Chorus in German goes like this. <laughs> March. 
out we look around us, heath and bog on every hand. Not a bird to break the silence, hold and bear the old tree stand. We are the peacock soldiers, marching with our spades to the home. Up and down the guards are pacing, no man, no man can get by. And wire fences, fence in the fortress. Try and flee, and you will die. We are the feedback soldiers, marching with our spades to the moon. And our thoughts they fly ever homeward, back to parent, child, and wife. While on the deserted heath We dig and toil maybe for life We are the big box soldiers Marching with our spades to the moon But away with the desperation After drought there comes the rain Soon will come our liberation And the homes are ours again We are the feedback soldiers Marching with our spades to the home We are the feedback soldiers Marching with our spades to the home A song I was uh, fortunate, fortunate, uh, fortunate enough to go to America uh, in 1966, a long time ago now, and I got hold of this song over there. Uh, it's uh, quite a quiet little song. I've never heard it over here since I got back, except by me, which is pretty nauseating. You know, I don't really worry about it. This is a song that came about in the 1850s during the sort of union uh, when they formed the unions in America, and. The big problem was that if you worked in a factory and sort of lost a leg or an eye, as is in the case of this song, um, you sort of just got kicked out in your ear hole and they said, go earn your living, man. And, you know, you don't get anything from us. It's a, a song about, called The Blind Fiddler. <coughs> I lost my eyes in the blacksmith's shop in the year of 56. While I was sorting out a tea plant that was out of fix, while it slipped from out the tongues, and it bled its spell my doom, and now I am a blind fiddler. I've been to San Francisco and I've seen Dr. Lane. He operated on one of my eyes, but nothing could he gain. And he said, you will be blind for life, and it's no use to moan. And now I am a blind fiddler and a long way from home. I have a wife and three little ones depending now on me. Oh, to share all my troubles, whatever they may be. And I hope that they won't worry Now that I'm forced to roam And I am a blind fiddler And a long way from home You didn't like that song? 
<laughs> well, don't forget to pull the chain. Right? <laughs> Here's a, another song about work. I like songs about work. <laughs> I don't do any. And this is a um, this is a song called. Uh, it was written by Uri McCall for that well-known ballad, radio ballad called "The Travel Line People." And uh, this is a this is a song called "Jack of All Trades." The chorus in this, so we can have a bash and get the old ones working. about the queer who died in his youth. <laughs> Chorus goes like this. I'm a rowing jack of all trades of every trade and no trade. And if you want to know me, then they call me jack of all trades. That's great. Say that I'm a rover, gypsy, jack at stake, a lousy, lazy tinker, but I'm really jack of all trades. I travel up and down every corner of the nation. I can always turn my hand to any occupation. I'm a rover, jack of all trades, every trade and no trade. If you want to know me, name call me jack of all trades. I've been a lousy tinker with me pack upon me shoulder, me pots and pans go flutter bang, me tin sticks and me solder. I can take a pair or mend a chair or make a wicker table. When it comes to grinding knives, you'll know one by more able. I'm a rolling jack of all trades. Every trade and no trade. If you want to know me, name call me jack of all trades. Well, my name's the horse I've bought and sold, stallion, pole and brood mare. Trained them in the winter time and sold them at the horse fair. At Barnet on the double bear that know me well in season. You'll always find me at the fill, likewise at Kirby Stephen. I'm a rolling jack of all trades. Every trade and no trade. If you want to know me, call me jack of all trades. Sometimes you'll find me on the farm viewing the open spring. Sometimes I land on my knees doing the asphalt laying. But when the summer time has gone, winter comes a stealing. You'll find me collecting junk and rags and bulky tatters, dealing. I'm a rolling jack of all trades. Every trade and no trade. If you want to know me, they call me Jack of Trade again. I'm a rolling jack of all trades. Every trade and no trade. If you want to know me, they call me Jack of all trades. Is that a song? From uh, down in Dorset, I'm a great sort of Dorset fan. If you've never been down there, they've got this sort of marvelous accent that sort of goes ah ha 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 like that. It's a tremendous place. And uh, this is a, a Dorsetshire version of uh, the Dublin hit Seven Drunken Nights. And in between each verse and this, you get a bit which goes ah. You got you can't quite get the accent. You can't quite get the accent. You sort of look at the nearest bird and go Whoa. and you get this marvelous sort of feeling. Of sex all around the room, it's it's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> when I I love building sex all around the room. When I comes home of a Monday, a little before my time, what did I see behind the edge but a bite what wasn't mine? Whose bite be that? Whose bite do that be? I'll have been nothing but a farrow in sow what I have bought for thee. I travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more, but a farrow in sow with handle bars I never did see before. Ah, oh, lovely! I feel it. It's there, isn't it? Excuse me. I usually carry a packet of alka seltzer with me. <laughs> when I comes home of a Tuesday, a little before my time, oh, what did I see in the cabbage patch but boot prints what weren't mine? Whose prints be they? Whose prints do they be? Well, I've been nothing but a wandering cow. What I bought home for thee, the mother-in-law. I travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more. But a wandering cow with off nail boots I never did see before. I'm only joking, Steve. Don't be worried. <laughs> and when I come home on a Tuesday, Wednesday, a little before my time, oh, what did I see behind the door? But an hat what wasn't mine. Who's that for that? Who's that? Do that be? Well, I've been nothing but a chamber pearl. What I have bought for thee. I travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more. 
Got a chamber pole with an upturned brim I never did see before. Ah, I think I messed that up somewhere, don't you, will you? When I comes home on the first day, a little before my time, oh, what did I see on the bedroom floor but pants what weren't mine? Whose pants be they? Whose pants do they be? Well, I've been nothing but pyjama bottoms what I have bought for thee. I travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more, but pyjama bottoms with a zip fly in I never did see before. <laughs> Ah. And when I come home on Friday, a little before my time, oh, what did I see within the bed but an head what wasn't mine? Ah, who's head for that? <laughs> who's head do that be? Well, I've been nothing but a turnip what me mother gave to me. I travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more, but a turnip with moustache and beard I never did see before. Ah. But when I comes home of a Saturday, I grabs me old twelve bore. Which is a gun for the symbolically blinded. <laughs> <laughs> bang! Bang! I never travel far, I travel wide, hundred miles or more. But I never did see two Brighton buggers run so fast before. <laughs> I'd like to know a, a, a sort of serious time, because a long time ago in this, uh, in sort of England and Scotland, there were people called highwaymen. Together as well. <laughs> I believe in that. This, this is um, he's bigger than me as well. I don't know. I dare. <laughs> this is uh, um, they used to have these people called highwaymen. They used to go around the highways and byways and B roads uh, of England with, with such well-known phrases as "stand on your liver" and other uh, things. And uh, the most the most famous of these highwaymen w w was Sir Richard Turpin who was known to his friends as Dick for various reasons. And uh, he, he, gained, uh, he gained great notoriety by riding black bears from London to York. <laughs> Still love that myself, I don't know what it is. Anyway, this is a, if you haven't seen it, let's just come down here a little bit. <laughs> and he's just a very strong bird, that's all right. This is a, this is a song, nothing to do with Sir Richard Turpin, this is a song called Noozlin Town. And, uh, <laughs> Would you like to come round the tour with me? We'd have a guest to go. In Newlyn Town I was bred and born at Stephen's Green and then I died and gone. I served me time at the settling trade, and I was always, I was always a roving blade. At seventeen, oh, I took a wife, and I loved her dearer than I loved me life. For to keep her happy both night and day, I went to robbing, went to robbing on the broad I way. I never robbed any form, and yet I was never in the tradesman's day. But I robbed the lords and the ladies gay, carried on me gold. Carried on me go to me love straight way To a Cupid's garden We then did stray to Cupid's garden For to see a play Lord Dillon's gang led in me pursue And I was taken I was taken by the cursed crew Me father cried Oh me darling son Me wife she said I am a nun Me mother taught her White locks and cried Oh in his cradle In his cradle He should have died When I'm dead and go to me grave, a costly funeral let me have. Get numbered robbers to follow me, give them good broadswords, them good broadswords and liberty. Get six pretty maidens to carry my pole, give them white gloves and ribbons all. That they may say when they speak the truth, they go the wild you thing, go the wild and a wicked you. One more, right, we won't do that one now. I'm just going to say, I've messed up the guitar so much, I play a guitar solo, it usually works that way. I'll tell you what, I'll do a... 
Yeah, I'll do a contemporary song. And this is a, a song written by uh, His Majesty Pete Seeger uh, about sort of international relationships. And this is a great song because what we have to do is sort of split the audience into two, which is going to be a hell of a tricky. I might tell you. We always get some schizophrenic buggers sitting right in the middle of the line. You know? <laughs> and, uh, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, look, if we... Um, <laughs> we go up the middle there. Eh? We'll only have a schizophrenic chair. <laughs> this is this side. Uh, what, what this side has to do, uh, you can sort of go to sleep for an hour because it takes a hell of a lot of teachers. This side has to do no, no words in it. No words, just music, sound, mouth music. It's called mouth music because if you try playing any other part of the body, you get horrible stuff. It goes like this. Daddy, lum, da, da, daddy, lum, da, da, lum, da, da, lum, da, da, daddy, lum, da, da, lum, da, da, Got that tremendous, all looking happy, fit and drunk right here. Now this side, this side, no, no, don't! <laughs> this side, this side, the in crowd here. They're the good singers! <laughs> Gonna run out of this town before I'm finished. <laughs> this side's it, got words, I'm sorry about that, but they are. It's in English. Soon, mama, my whole world, soon, mama, gonna get mixed up. Soon, mama, my whole world, soon, mama, gonna get mixed up. That's pretty easy. Soon, mama, I'll make some food. Right. Soon, mama, my whole world, soon, mama, gonna get. And again. Soon, mama, my whole world, soon, mama, gonna do it again. Soon. The, the tape recorders hate me when I do this because I sort of walk around. <laughs> yeah, and it gets after the song, it's great. <laughs> Fill in the gaps. Well, you know, this language that we speak, part jump, part Latin and part Greek. With some Celtic and Arabic all in a heap, well amended by the man in the street. Choctaw, give us the word, okay. Vamos is a word from Mexico way. All of this is a hint, I suspect. But what comes next? Bye. Sausage, I like Spanish rice. Pizza pie is also nice. Corned beans from the Indians here, washed down by some German beer. Marco Polo travelled by camel and pony, brought back to Italy the first macaroni. You and I, as well as we're able, put it on the table. So our whole world. Irishman before the Vikings landed in Ireland. And how many Romans had dark curly hair before they bought slaves from Africa? No race of man is completely pure, nor is man's mind, and that's for sure. Winds makes the dust of every land, and so will man. To must all be the same, we'll have different faces and different names. And long live many different kinds of races, for it's difference of opinion that make us a racist. But remember the rule about Rose, brother, what's right with one is wrong with another. Take a tip from La Belle France, vive la France. So far the whole world, so far we're gonna get mixed up. banjo playing called frailing. In England it's basically known as failing. Oh, that's the way it goes. It comes from the Appalachian Mountains in America. Here's two um, dance tunes. First one's called Floppy and Mule, the second one's called Cripple Creek. I have to mention this because you won't notice the difference between them anyway. So.
You know, it's coming up to Christmas, and I was saying that most sort of carols, whoops, carols are associated with Christmas. This is a a carol that was written, a contemporary carol, written by Sidney Carter. It's one of these songs that you have to listen to, you can get entirely the wrong meaning in it. There's a bit of a chorus in this, if you can probably get hold of it. Good. Standing in the rain, knocking on the window, knocking on the window on a Christmas day. There he is again, knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. She's all the rest of the chorus, it's a pretty easy repeat. Try that. Knocking on the window, knocking on the window on a Christmas day. There he is again, knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. No use knocking on the window, there is nothing here for you, sir. All the beds are booked already There is nothing we can do, sir Standing in the rain Knocking on the window Knocking on the window On a Christmas day There he is again Knocking on the window Knocking on the window In the same Knocking on the window Some are lucky, some are not, sir We are Christian men and women And we're keeping what we've got, sir Standing in the rain Knocking on the window Knocking on the window On a Christmas day Knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. No, we haven't got a manger. No, we haven't got a stable. We are Christian men and women. And we're keeping what we're able. Standing in the rain. Knocking on the window, knocking on the window on a Christmas day. There he is again, knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. Jesus Christ has gone to heaven, someday he'll be coming back, sir. In this house he will be welcome. Just so long as he's not black, sir. Standing in the rain, knocking on the window, knocking on the window on a Christmas day. There he is again, knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. We will now go back to bed, sir. Before you woke us with your knocking, we were sleeping like the dead, sir. Standing in the rain, knocking on the window, knocking on the window in the same old way. There he is again, knocking on the window, knocking on the window. You know, when you're sort of travelling around, all sorts of odd things happen to you. Well, I was, uh, the biggest problem is what to do during the middle of the day, you know, from when you leave your hotel or wherever you stay in the morning till you get to the club at night. And just before last Christmas, about this time last year, I was in Leeds. Uh, 
And I was having a terrible place, terrible place. And I was in this pub, you know, having me sort of cup of tea. And uh, there was a big notice on the wall, big poster that said, Temperance Meeting! And underneath, what led me to it, it said, Free. So I thought, I'll go to this. So I goes down, and this massive great hall, like four or five times the size of this, jam-packed with people. And at one end of this hall is a big stage, and on this stage is a beautiful, antique, hand-carved, hand-polished oak table. But you couldn't see that because there was a cloth over that. And on top of this cloth, there were two glasses. And this little man, he bounds onto the stage, sort of, bound, bound, hit him again. Bound, bound, like this, like the tough boot advert on the telly. Huh? And he says, I will prove to you that drink is wrong. And we all burp because it was just on closing time. So. <laughs> and he picks up the first glass in his hand and he says, in this hand, in this glass, we got whiskey. And in his other hand, he picks up a long, wriggling worm, all wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. And he drops it in the whiskey and the worm goes, <coughs> And with typical sort of Leeds thoroughness, he said, it's dead. <laughs> Put the glass down. Huh? Picked up the other glass. He said, in this glass, we got water. Picked up another long, wriggling worm. Oh, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. <laughs> Drops it in the glass of water. There's the worm doing a right to leak the lonsborough around the glass. I mean, like bugger. It's got like that. And he said, it's alive. What does that prove? And a big voice in the back yelled, if you've got worms, drink whiskey. <laughs> 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 Here's a song with another bit of a chorus in it. It's about drinking as well. <laughs> chorus comes from the Greek, uh, core meaning she and ask, well, there we are, you know. Literal translation to what a lovely short mini skirt. This is a, a song from down in Dorset called The Village Pump. It's known down there as The Village Pimp. So that's the way it goes. This is, um, it's not got an ordinary chorus, just repeat the last two lines every now and again. You'll get the idea. Press along. Now there's a little village down our way, down our way. It's, it's very, very easy. It's just like the news. It just repeats itself. Now there's a little village down our way, down our way, where they do grow potatoes, corn and hay. Corn and hay. And there's a little rill that runs beside this mill, and the mill it keeps a turning all the day, all the day. There's some little houses in a clump. In the and the pub they call the Maggie Pie and Stump. Pie and Stump. But no big no mistake, the thing that takes the cake, it's the pride of all the village, it's the pub. It's, it's the, the pub. pub. The village 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 P-U-M-P. <laughs> now we had a new policeman to the week. <laughs> ah, you see. <laughs> A peculiar sort of fella, so to speak. So to speak. Well, I really do declare he wasn't quite all there. He's what you might call a living freak. Living freak. One night outside the Maggie Pie and Stump, stump. he came across a peculiar sort of lump. Sort of lump. Well, he said, move on your tights. But when he shone his light, he found he wasn't shutting up the pub. Never oh, his pub. Now our squire likes his little bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and when his eldest son was twenty-one, twenty-one, to celebrate the day in a proper sort of way, well he gave all the kiddies a bun. <laughs> <laughs> on the green outside the Maggie Pie and Stump. So we played games where we could run and skip and jump. Skip and jump. I am to celebrate the day in a proper sort of way. While well, we shoved another angle up the pub. Up the pub. The village 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 pub. The From the funniest sort of fellow you have seen. You have seen. He said, You fellows here, yeah, you're much too fond of beer. And he spurred it like a penny magazine. magazine. He was running down the Maggie Pie and Stump. stump. Till he gave us fellas all the ump. All the ump. He says, Water's right for me. We said, Oh, how right you be. And we went and took the bugger in the pub. Here's another song from down in Dorset. What happened was there used to be a lot of prisons down in Dorset. 
and uh, full of prisoners, of course, and the prisoners had nothing to do. So the prison commissioners went up to London and they all got round this big table to decide to find something to do, you see. That's about an hour and a half. One little fellow jumped up and he said, I've got it! So they all backed away from him because you never know, I mean, you can't tell. Really. And um, he, came, he, came up, he came up with this marvellous idea called a treadmill, which was a big wheel with a lump of cheese at the top, and he all went running around trying to get extra breakfast. So called the treadmill. So. <laughs> Step in, young man, I know you've faced it, nothing in your favour. Little time, I'll give it to you, six months and so hard labour. To my hip holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G.O. Now at six o'clock the turnkey comes in, there's a bunch of keys all in his hand. Come, my lad, step up in time, turn the wheel, the corn to grind. To my hip holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G.O. At eight o'clock the skilly comes in, sometimes thick, sometimes thin, never a word we must not say, bread and water all next day, to my hip a holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G-O. Then at half past eight the bell is ring, in the chapel boys we must swing down, and our bed did needs to fall, Lord have mercy on us all, to my hip holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G-O. Well, nine o'clock the jangle rings on the trap, boys, we must swing. Come, me lad, step up in time. Turn the wheel, the corn to grind to my hip holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G.O. Well, Saturday's here, I'm sorry to say, Sunday's a starvation day. On their boots, tin mugs to if they're not shine, they will not do to my hip holiday, hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday, G.O. Well, me six long months are over and past I'll return to me bonny bonny lass I'll leave the turnkeys all behind We'll tread the corn to grind To my hip holiday, hip holiday Hip holiday, hip holiday, holiday gee oh. I suppose, you know, when you, you sing a lot You always sort of look at contemporary songs and say Well, I can do better, and you never can But... Anyway, I'll try it. This is a song that I wrote about oh, six, 1963. I nearly said 63 years ago. Then, oh, you can't really age it, really. And this is a, a, I don't know why I wrote it. Nobody ever knows why they write songs, but um, I like it. Because of the pain, ash and the heat, no kids play in the street. Well, once long ago, this world at peace, people spoke peace to man. Then somebody invented a bomb, drove away peaceful plans. Stone clouds rolled on the top of the hill. Beat of the drum grew loud. Clash your still and of marching feet, earth covered with a mushroom cloud. And now no trees grow on the river bank, no grass grows in the field, no kids play in the street anymore because of the pain, ash and the heat. No kids play in the street. Covered the green, green fields, heat to ride up the stream. Pain and anguish filled old men, drove away peaceful dreams. And now no trees grow on the river bank, no grass grows in the field. No kids play in the street anymore because of the pain. Ash and the heat, no kids play in the street. One day, one day, and not far off, one day, not 
not so long. Peace will come once more to earth. Man will sing a peaceful song, and then the trees will grow on the river bank. Grass will grow in the fields. Kids will play in the street once more. No more the ash, no more the heat, no more the pain. Kids will play in the street. That's a standard sort of protest song. Leon Rosserson came up against the book. The book was called What to Do in the Event of a Nuclear War. And the foreword said, Run like buggery. You know. And this was a book which was first printed in 1952 and is still the official document of the civil defence today. And he took this book, took the paragraphs out of it, wrote a song around it, a song called Stand Firm, which is the chorus. He missed out a very vital paragraph from the song, though, and this is perfectly true. The paragraph read, When the bombs start to fall, switch off all gas appliances, <laughs> or there might be an explosion. <laughs> chorus just goes, Stand Firm, Stand Firm. Anyway, this fella... You want to hear me? I've been playing at the bagpipes. You want to hear me tuning in? <laughs> now don't just cower like a shower when the clouds begin to loom. Stand firm at your bit. Stand firm. There will be a good four minutes to prepare your refuge room. Stand firm. Stand firm. For our early warning system will be broadcast in the news. So don't hang about Trafalgar Square or sprawl about the loo. And squish up all electric fires so as not to blow a fuse and stand firm, stand firm. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, here I go. You will leave your bingo sessions, push aside your plate of chips and stand firm, stand firm. Pull your socks up, jet your chins out, what and button up your lips and stand firm, stand firm. Switched off all your tellers, you've abandoned all your beer. Consult your local ward and he will help allay your fear. To deaden the explosion, put your fingers in your ear and stand firm, stand firm. For our children and their children and their children's children's sake, stand firm, stand firm. There are all sorts of precautions that we all of us can take, stand firm, stand firm. This grip was brought us through into our wars. We can whitewash all our windows, sand make all our doors, and we can check our Geiger counters in our new brown paper drawers and stand firm. <laughs> stand firm. Well, a slip trench will protect you from the fallout and the blast. Stand firm. Stand firm. But you don't come out of hiding till the radiation's passed. Stand firm. Stand firm. Go to the aggressor that the free man will be free. Leap down in your hidey hole, make pots and pots of tea. <laughs> and if you're caught out in the open, duck behind a tree and stand firm. Stand firm. So don't just come on like a shower when the bombs begin to burst. Stand firm. Stand firm. There will be no need to panic if the worst comes to the worst. Stand firm. Stand firm. And make a contribution if we only keep our head. Try sweeping up the fallout or decontaminating bread. Or oh, whether it's rescuing survivors or burying the dead. Stand firm, stand firm, stand firm, stand firm. Uh, I don't know how we're doing for time at all. Regardless, is the art Mr. Set of the Gardener. No. Quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour. Oh, we're doing marvellously now. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. I can't think what we'll do. Thinks. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do this. This is a. This is another quiet song on the same sort of theme. Um, it, it was written by two people called Friedman and Silverstein. They wrote a book called The Hills of Shiloh.
Have you seen Amanda Glynn in the hills of Shiloh? Wandering through the morning rain in the hills of Shiloh? Have you seen her at the Listening for the cannon roar, and a man who went to war from the hills of Shiloh. Have you seen her haunted eyes in the hills? Have you heard her mournful cries in the hills of Shiloh? Have you seen her running down, searching through the sleeping town in her yellow? In the hills of Shiloh Have you heard her mournful cries In the hills of Shiloh Have you seen her haunted eyes In the hills And listening for the roar of guns And the murder never comes Back to the hills of Shiloh Have you heard Amanda sing In the hills
That's my share, that's my funny thing and you can play there. Funny thing I thought you back in the neck of toe, whatever I love's mine, dear. The more I love's my nigger drawn near. I just her on the navel, that's my share, that's my navel swing and you can play there. Now I swing a funny thing I thought you back in the neck of toe, whatever I love's mine, dear. The more I love's my nigger drawn near. I just her on the breast. That's my share, them's my breastplates, and you can play there. Breastplates, now I'll swing a funny thing, a thigh, a thack, a knee, a neck, a toe, whatever I love's my dear. The more I love's my nigger drawn near. A tester on the chin, that's my share, that's my chin, a chops, and you can play there. Chin, a chops, breastplate, now I'll swing a funny thing, a thigh, a thack, a knee, a neck, a toe, whatever I love's my dear. The more I love's my nigger drawn near. A tester on the mouth, that's my share. That's my chatterbox, and you can play there. Chatterbox, chatterbox, that chatterbox, chatterbox, press play, and we'll swing a funny thing. Thigh a thack and knee a neck a toe, whatever I love's my dear. The more I love's my nigger draw dear. A tester on the nose, that's my share, that's my snot a box, and you can play there. Snot a box, chatterbox, chin a chop, breastplate, now a swing a funny thing, a thigh a thack and knee a neck a toe, whatever I love's my dear. The more I love's my nigger. I touch her on her eyes, that's my share, that's my look as out, and you can play there. The look as out's not a box, chatter chops, chin a chops, the breast plate, now I swing a funny thing, a thigh, a thack, a knee, a neck, a toe, a devil, I love's my dear. Oh, I love's my nigger drawn dear. I touch her on the air, that's my share, that's my louse trap, and you can play there. Louse trap, look as out's not a box, chatter box, chin a chops, breast plate, now I swing a funny thing, a thigh, a thack, a knee, a neck, a toe, a Deborah loves my dear, the more I love my nigger drum.